Thank you for being a friend Travel down the road and back again Your heart is true You're a pal and a confidant And if you threw a party Invited everyone you knew You would see the biggest gift would be for me And the car attached would say Thank you for being a friend All right, guys, we're back. It's Friday, October 15th. Now we did this last Friday. We're gonna do it again this Friday. We are going to start the video with shotgun. We're gonna down some bush. And the reasoning is, it's Friday. We made it through another week. Uh, I made it through another week working. So this is a little reward. I think we are owed this. Get the juices flowing on a Friday. Get ready to cash some bets this weekend. And we're off. All right. Love it. Love it. Great way to start the video. All right. So, like I said, it's Friday, October 15th. We have not a ton on deck tonight, unfortunately. We got one baseball game, we have a little bit of hockey and a little bit of college football, but it's good enough. What we, ha what we have is good, what we have I like. But before we get into that, let's recap last night. All right, guys, last night we had Eagles Bucks on Thursday night football. Uh, we had a little bit of college football, and I think we might have had a little bit of hockey, had some baseball too. Um, so it was Eagles Bucks. Eagles came out firing, looked good, offense was moving. Then they just went cold. The Bucks kind of took over. Game ended up being pretty close 28 22, which is a Philadelphia cover. Uh, depending on how you look at it, good teams win, great teams cover. So what's that say about the Eagles? Overall, uh, not not a good look for the Eagles, unfortunately. It, it was not as close as maybe the score made it seem. But for the boys, it was not a bad night. Probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 50-50. A couple things bounce one way, bounce the other way. And, you know, it's, a, it's an incredible night. Let's take a look. We're going to start off with Stevie Player props. He was 2-1 and one last night, 9-21 and 21 on the month down, 9.38 units. Vinny was also 2-1. and one. He is 13-17, and 17, up 2.15 units. Shawnee Sizzle, he was 1-2. and two. He was so close. He had AB first touchdown, and it was close. It was very close. If he would have hit that first touchdown, it would have been a monster night for Sean. But he ended up 1-2, and 12-18 on the month, down 2.46 units. Big turnaround by Crest. 3-0 last night. Brings him to 15-15. and 15. He is down 2.25 units. Spencer, 1-2, 14-16, down 2.98 units. Little down for Wilkie, 1-2, but he is still 17-13 on the month, up 4.56 units. And I was 2-1, 14-16 on the month, up 8.61 units. One more Tom Brady passing touchdown last night. And it would have been jackpot for your boy. I'll tell you that. I would have finished 3 0, and I had a couple other parlays out there. I would have raked, raked. But what can you do? Still a good night overall, and I'll take it. Like I said, tonight we have we have one game. We got Astros, Red Sox in Houston. Um, we got some hockey. We got some college football. A couple decent games, at least games that I'm interested in betting. So let's take a look at the locks. Our reigning champion, Stevie Player Props. He's going Astros money line under nine and a half runs, Blackhawks money line, and Syracuse plus 13 and a half and over 39 and a half. Vinny, Red Sox plus one and a half and over eight and a half. Cam Atkinson to score a goal and Flyers money line, and he's going two units on Flyers money line. Love that bet. Shawnee Sizzle, he's going Red Sox money line. Flyers, Canucks, both to score in the first period. If you remember, that is Sean's favorite hockey bet. He has been waiting for hockey season to come back to bet that, and he is on it tonight. 
and Blackhawks money line. Chris, Clemson minus 13 and a half, Red Sox money line. Spencer, Clemson minus 13 and a half, Oregon minus 13 and a half, and Red Sox plus one and a half. Wilkie, Red Sox money line and JD Martinez to get a hit. Flyers money line and Clemson money line and over 44 and a half. And what do I got? I got Astros money line and over six and a half. Tease that run line down or tease that total down a little bit. Syracuse plus 14 and a half and under 48 and a half. Brought the spread up by a point and I brought the over under up by four points. I, I think it still goes under 44 and a half, but just playing a little bit safer. And I'm going Oregon minus nine and a half and over 47 and a half. Move those lines a little bit also. So like I said, tonight, is it is it the most exciting night in sports? No. Is it decent? Yes. I, you know, I like I like the Astros Red Sox game. I am tempted to go a strategy on this game, which a strategy did hit last night, by the way, just throwing that out there. But I got to see. I like I like Valdez 4Ks, Sale 4Ks, and uh, tie first inning, tie second inning. I got to look at it. I got to look at it. I, I'm worried about Chris Sale. His last his last time out, he only pitched one inning. And I know this is game one of the series, so he, he probably has a longer leash. But still, it, it just it makes me nervous. And what are we? What are we going with tonight? We're going house whiskey. We're going house whiskey. And we are going with, of course, Double Nickel Weekend Warrior Tall Boy, Super Tall Boy. These are 19.2 ounces. These are not the 16 ounces. Seen a lot more of these out there in the market, if you will. These, this size is perfect. This size is phenomenal. It is that much better than 16. Uh, the college football that we got tonight, Clemson has been terrible this year. Terrible. I think they probably beat Syracuse, but they're not beating up anybody. Every game they play is close and very low scoring. They have Their defense is actually pretty good. Their offense is bad, which, not going to lie, surprised me. I was not expecting that. I was expecting my boy DJ Uyagalele to dominate and... He has not, to say the least. But a lot of low-scoring games. That's why I do like the under, especially a teased-up line going under. And Syracuse, I don't know. There's this weird thing with Syracuse and Clemson, and they usually play them tough. I, I definitely expect them to play them tough this year because you know it's in Syracuse's head that they got a shot. They got a shot the way the Clemson has played. So I think it's going to be close. I do. Oregon, I think they probably blow out Cal. I, I swap those numbers around a little bit, just, you know, make a little safer bet. But I like Spencer's pick, just going straight up, minus 13 and a half. Oregon, it, Oregon's probably going to blow the doors off of Cal. And it's going to be high scoring as Pac-12, so I like the over in that game also. All right. Oh, God. You know what? I That one... I, I'm I'm gonna take the blame on that one because I I know I was pushing down a little bit so I got a little bit of squirt. Oh my goodness! I didn't pour my shot. This, so this is uh, you know my, probably my least favorite college football weekend. Penn State is on a buy, probably a needed buy, but still a bummer. Uh, no Eagles because they played last night. So you know that what do uh. What do basic suburban people do at a time like this? Probably go to a pumpkin patch or an apple orchard. So I will probably be doing that this weekend. All right, let's get it. Oh. Man, we're good. And then the cold came in. My goodness. Oh, all right. Not too bad. Not too bad. Just a little stink. All right, guys. So do all the things. Follow all the social media accounts. Uh, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, 
Uh, like our tweets, retweet us, tweet at us. Let us know who you like, who you hate, who you tell, who you fade. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Interact with us online. We want to get to know you. Let us know about strategies that you use. If you like the strategies that we have, are you using them? Are you winning with them? Um, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back Sunday and Monday. You know how the schedule works. Until then, I love you guys. Let's cash some bets.